Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between South Africa and Netherlands, 5.30 a.m. in the morning. So that should be your first alarm of the day. And uh, please don't expect me to post the final team for this one. So watch the preview carefully. And let's hope we have a good game. It's going to be played at Adelaide, must win game for South Africa. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us to tell you if Netherlands can cause another upset today. Yes, they can. Why not? This tournament has been all about that. Uh, the key thing is to start with uh, mm. early game. Conditions will be different. So, if you are awake and you are definitely going to play, then please be mindful of those conditions that are there. Because if there is movement early and if South Africa is batting, we know it's a bit light. So if they can mm. get new ball wickets, then this game could be set up really well. Right, and we have a left thumb pacer in the offing again. Something that we discussed the last time around worked out well. So, it will be interesting to see what happens this time around. But before we remember the left hours, let's remember the venue conditions. So, the game's going to be played at Adelaide. And we have seen here, it's been interesting conditions with the square boundaries. In terms of weather, there's not too much around for now. So, it should be a full game that we should get. And let's see how the game goes. But yes, we see some laughs there. So, Nikhil Bhai will tell you more about it. <laughs> Maybe somebody's got around at the wrong time for game while we record this. But yeah, that's how, that's how the games have been. Uh, which is why conditions are very critical. We saw in the Indian Sri Lanka game as well. Sri Lanka started very brightly, 80 in first time, but mm. only 61 in the last time. So conditions are dictating. Yes, England bowled well, but the deck did not allow uh, Sri Lanka to you know, just break free at any point of time. So South Africa, Netherlands, whoever starts well with the new ball, I feel could potentially just continue to dominate right through the game. But mm. otherwise, if you are feeling something special could come could come from middle over options, middle order options, then please go ahead and try that. Usually we've seen Adelaide back good fast bowling. Uh, slight help for speed, but not too much. Yes, absolutely. So first up, before we get to the base team, we hope all of you are participating actively in the leaderboards. It's your last Super 12 day. So ensure you make the most of it because after this, it's just very few games with the semi-finals and the final. So make sure that you make multiple teams and combinations because games have been going absolutely Jai Matadi. So it's a good chance for you to try out all your visualizations. Even after all that, the base team is still working. Because the one like form say must be name. Do not mess around with people who are playing key roles and are in good form because that's what's resulting in better results for all of us. So continue that base team thing and uh, rotate and use it well in your leaderboard contest because no better way to get good prices there. Yes, absolutely. So let's look at what base team we have set up for this game. Yes. So this is the golden game, the first game of the day. And like you can see, South Africa, Netherlands, we have gone with the one keeping option, Quentin de Kock, who's our vice captain. And then three batters, Max, Temba Babuma and Riley Rousseau. Temba Babuma did get some form and we saw that he was able to flourish off the cut. And because the square boundaries are shorter, he might be able to do that again if the Netherlands lose their line and length at any point. So that, see, again, this game, uh, I wouldn't say it's great for small league. I'd say it's better to play this for mini jets and grand leagues because most of them will come with a very common set. Your three Netherlands players are likely to be the same. So if South Africa bat first, then I think it's a great game for you to try and play because then you can back your visualization more. Because if South Africa bowl first, we are most likely going to see this combination only. Top three, four bowlers, and then the four common guys for Netherlands. So, be very sure in your visualization. And uh, yes, if you're expecting early wickets for South Africa, game is open there. Yes, you have one all-rounder that we have left out in Wayne Parnell for now because yeah. we don't expect that his pace would trouble Max. And we saw that that even against Pakistan, he just got that one wicket of Rizwan, which was more the making the wicket was more the making of the batsman's mistake rather than his. So yes, if you feel like there'll be movement up front, then it's a different story. Yes. Then you must pick him. But we feel three overs in the power play 
and stable batting up top from Netherlands would be able to negotiate him. And hence, we have gone with Bas Delidi as the singular all-rounder in this game. Mm. And then six bowlers, we feel Shamsi can have great impact, especially if he's bowling second. And the three pacers, Noke will be our captain because he did get that steep pace and bounce back. So, if he's able to continue that, he will be good. And who knows, law of averages works for Abada in this game. The other two bowlers that we have gone with are Brandon Glover, who bowled exceptionally in that last game against Zimbabwe. He was very impressive. And Paul Van Meekren, who's been good even against top teams this year. So that also, if you see this combination, you can say, probably say that why do we have Glover and Paul Van Meekren, two bowlers? Hmm. You could easily drop one of them for Ackerman or Tom Cooper, whoever you see. For now, this team is made, assuming just that this is a very common base team. Uh, you would want to keep Clever because he's bowled well. Uh, so if they are bowling first, you would want to keep both of them. But if you feel that they are bowling second, they will not lose more than one wicket and you want to back their all-rounders more, you can hmm. easily swap out both of them and have their all-rounders. It's completely your call. But if they bowl first, I think these two could be part of your setup and are they, the rest are automatic picks there. Uh, as we discussed, Wayne Parnell, if you feel it will swing up top, you can make him your captain as well in Granite if you feel they will be good. Yes, absolutely. So that is what the setup of our base team, along with the thought process on why we have picked and left certain players. Now let's head over to the Golden Grand League option for this game. So Nikhil sir, tell us your Grand League options for this game. Okay. We'll keep it very straight, very relatable. Grand League option from Netherlands, Fred Klassen. We hmm. saw what left arm pace has done to South Africa's top order before. Let's repeat, no doubt there. If they bat, if they bowl first, Netherlands, he can do the job. Uh, so that is the Netherlands thing. They are right there. From South Africa, I think it's going to be fairly relatively simpler for all. They'll all try the bowlers that we discussed, batters. If South Africa bat first, I think Rally Russo could put up another show. So hmm. I don't know if it qualifies as a Grand League pick. But if you want a proper Grand League pick, then go ahead with Aiden Marco. Right. My Grand League picks for this game from South Africa, if they bat first, Tristan Stubbs and Shamsi, if he's playing in bowl second. And yep. from Netherlands, not many times you can say this, but South Africa's ex-international player, Rolf van der Mover, we're expecting left-handers to have some trouble from Klaassen, which would mean a light line of right-handers mm-hmm. for van der Mover to bowl at, and a square boundary that would be tempting to hit many rash shots off. So, I feel he can play a good role, and hence, these are my two Grand League picks for this game. Fairly good ones. Have a good game, guys. Of yes, all the good it. luck to you. Download the fan to play app now. If you haven't already, we've told you many times, too much yep. stuff coming up for you there and three free entry contests for all the games. So ensure you download yep. the app right now. All the good luck to all of you. Yes, have a good game, guys. Keep winning.